Then he put this out last night. I don't think he put out a thread too, by the way. There was like three, but this will do. This is the first one. Sometimes sometimes a man who was fired got fired for being an actual creep. Women in the right wing space legit struggle reporting abuse because they fear being exiled for speaking up. On the left, victims of abuse are literally celebrated. On the right, they are excommunicated. It blows. That's what Elijah said. First off, yeah, too many words. Too many words. Very pompous. Uh, it doesn't really have much punch to it. It's like, all right, well, and the main problem is, just tell us, it's clearly about Elijah Schaefer. And so my instinct is beyond the, the rhetoric or whatever he's saying is, just tell us what the fuck you know, dude. Like, don't do this fucking catty shit. And, you know, I've done a blind item here or there. First off, it's more entertaining if I do it. It's like, okay, this is like some, some preachy shit. Just, <laughs> if you're going to do the blind item tabloid stuff, then at least be fun with it. At least be, like, I'm like, dude, just spill the beans. I quote tweeted him and I said, man, will you just fucking, <laughs> I said, actually, I said, you whack-ass motherfucker, just spill the beans on Elijah if you have them. This is getting ridiculous. After I said that to him, after I said that to him, a source with detailed knowledge of the situation contacted me and Twitter DMs. Uh-oh, go ahead. Imagine not respecting Ralph's tabloid talent. Not even saying that because I'm a fan. You're literally the best at this with the track record to back it up. I got a little bit. I got a little bit of a catalog there. If you take a, take a look. Some of us being unrolled on Rockfin as we speak. Well, not as we speak, but after we speak. <laughs> but uh, a source with uh, knowledge of the situation got in touch with me. And... Uh, I made it clear that I wanted all the beans, not uh, not vagaries. You know, we we pulled up a report now that it was originally reported from Current Revolt um, that Elijah had been fired for sexual assault. If you'll recall, let me pull that up. And the source with knowledge of the situation that I talked to, I was like, "That's not good enough," <laughs> you know. I want to know what happened because when you have that type of report, it's just annoying and you don't really know what sexual assault they're mean. Like that could be a lot of different things. And then also I just want to know what happened. Like I, I'm the type of guy who wants the, the salacious details quite honestly. Like I want to know what the fuck went on here. So they proceeded to tell me what happened. Which is interesting, and I'm about to tell you. And uh, before I do, though, I have a couple of things saved over here that I I went and did a little digging on my own. It seems that that the information was not really hidden. Now, some of the details might be. Before I pull it up, let me read this. That article. Uh, let's see. I just want to give what they said there. Anonymous sent $3. First, he leaks the ambush. Now, this he must really not like Elijah. Now, let's see. Uh, sexual misconduct. Is that what they... I think they changed the... I think they called it sexual... They, they used a different terminology before. Uh, Schaefer took to Twitter to confirm the termination and state that he was committed to continuing to keep fighting and that he couldn't wait to show you what's next. Multiple sources have reached out to us alleging that the policy he violated was sexual misconduct related to indecent assault of a female staffer. And that's in line with my information. There was stronger verbiage used, which it was still technically be a sexual assault, honestly, but an indecent assault is more... Um, it was a lighter, it would be a very light version of sex assault, you know. Um, and I'll get to why that'll be here in a minute. If it happened, you know, these are allegations. Um, but that's that's better verbiage. Because um, when you think sex assault, you're like, oh, d digital penetration, or like what happened, you know what I mean? Uh, vaginal 
what did, was it like a full uh, incident there? Uh, it's kind of a broad category. That's why um, I don't really like the like I, I I feel like it's a perversion of language, the sexual assault blanket term because it can really not that you know if you just grab a bitch or something like that like that's you know fucked up too but don't do that was it <laughs> was I on stream the other day time they used to just slap bitches on the ass that's true but those were the old days you can't that's true that was the 90s though you can't do that anymore don't do that when you're an Isola they let you do it but not all the time, apparently. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Sydney got mocked by Nick Fuentes on air with Elijah, and she never got over it. Well, you know, it's not Sydney Watson. So that's the thing. And uh, a lot of people um, have put that on her, but it's actually not Sydney Watson. So one of the first questions I asked was, when did this happen? And it was like the end of August, beginning of September. This just happened. So this wasn't uh, this wasn't involving Sidney Watson or or anything to do with that at all. Um, but uh, they go on to say they reached out to Schaefer, but he referred us referred us to his public Twitter statement, said he had no further comment. So anyway, I was given some more info about uh, about the details of who it was, et cetera, and I went and did some cross checking. Let's see here if I can pull this up. I'm trying to pull it up in order. I went and did a little cross-checking. I wasn't actually that familiar with who Sarah Gonzalez is. Uh, but she is an on-air talent at The Blaze and kind of well-known. I don't really watch The Blaze. I don't really watch The Blaze that much. Um, but, and... Uh, I didn't know who she was right off, but she is a, she's a well-known person. I'm trying to see if we can find a clip. Is, is, is they, are they on here together? Um, let me see if I can see if this is them talking together. You think they would take this one down. Let's see. No, we can skip that. Oh, we are so back. It wouldn't be a live stream unless it started late. And then it also, on top of not starting on time, which is my fault, actually, entirely, <laughs> it also has glitches because that is what we do here at Slightly Offensive. You know, not only do we have 8K graphics, not only do we have 4D graphics, but it's a Saturday live stream. I'm having a good time, and I'm in the room with somebody who's making me sweat a little bit, our spicy <laughs> Latinx. Sarah Gonzalez, who's here. You know what I'm saying? Let's try that again. K graphics, not only do we have 4D graphics, but it's a Saturday live stream. I'm having a good time, and I'm in the room with somebody who's making me sweat a little bit. Our spicy <laughs> Latinx. Sarah Gonzalez, who's here. First time on the stream on a Saturday. We always end this, yeah. this very four first time. This is her first time on your show. nice studio at blaze you know like the, the expensive equipment right, the right. huge production and so by the way what's the name of the uh pure politics uh ex-wife that he allegedly had an affair with too because i forgot and i was trying to ask sources about that last night and i forgot her name and couldn't find that but i if somebody remembers her name i'll have to go back and look at that stream um pick that out because i was gonna yeah, I know his name. Grayson Arnold, yeah. I can probably find it by that. Yeah, Anna something. I don't fucking remember. Jeez. She's one of those on the scene reporters. Anna something. I don't know. Some thought. Polish, yeah. And Indonesian not not Indonesian, Filipino Filipina or something. I don't know in a small room in my house is definitely underwhelming, right? I mean, this is only about literally the same size as the studio. I might be bigger I don't than... I know. I think this is bigger. I, I know. this is much bigger. But size this. doesn't matter. No, <laughs> it's... it's all 
all about the motion in the ocean. <laughs> it's all how you use this. It's all how you use the studio, not the size of the studio that counts. People don't realize that. It's like you have a big studio like CNN and nobody watches it, mm -hmm. but then you have a little studio like this and we're having a good time. You also, uh, you told me you brought out your earrings though today. I did. Well, I did. And I was really excited. <sighs> this thing works for the blaze. about them because I know that your viewers hate it when I wear obnoxious earrings and so I was wearing these and then I went oh crap I smash her pass by the way I shouldn't she but she's never on the show so you guys know that it's not against my rules only if they've been a guest on the show and then then they've entered colleague territory but uh, it looks like the smash is Slightly have it, although there is a strong pass contention as well. Can't wear, th I can't oh, wear these. Close. With the, uh, yeah, that's a good policy, isn't it, Peach? That's what I think. I think that's a good policy. The headphones, so they went wasted. Sad. Here they are. It's look, so good. They, they look good though. You know, I do yeah. like, I do like it though. And you have that. Let me see them. Oh, let's, let's rate them in the chat. I don't even yeah. know. I so we're gonna watch some more of this, but um. I mean, I didn't know this was out there, so we'll probably watch a good bit of this, actually. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Also, where's my other phone? I guess some more. Deets. Deets. So, I was like, well, I want to know what happened. I went looking. Where is this? And apparently, the I mean, it was kind of out there in the open, too. I can't believe nobody has reported on this either. It's kind of uh it's kind of crazy really. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, here we go. It's kind of nuts. I'm like, how has nobody reported this? And it's literally gonna be me that puts this out there. Like this is kind of a big story in online conservative media. Um, and it's not, you know, I mean, they, current revolt has the, the original story, but it's like, well, where are the details? I like just name them. I mean, now that who knows why they might have an agreement or whatever, but for me, it's like, well, where's the tabloid stuff? Uh, we need to, we need to find out what's going on here. So I went and found this Twitter thread on September 20th, my birthday. Sme golf and send $3. I'm getting all up in those guys and giving that bitch a baby. Now, wait a minute. I found this Twitter. Th Thank you, Smigel. I found this Twitter thread on from September twentieth, which was my birthday. This person said, "Frankly, I did not realize the Blaze was still a thing. They've been lapped so hard by the Daily Wire and Tim Cast that Elijah Schaefer probably tried to get fired on purpose." The world's Ganymad sent five dollars. The demon has him trying to smash married woman. Christian VTW. Oh, she married. Wow. Somebody says they were beyond irrelevant until they bought conservative review. There are three rumors going around that they gave him the Gavin McInnes treatment and fired him for being too edgy. That's untrue. Two, he offended Beck by calling Mormons fake tr Christians. That's untrue. Three, something scandalous involving Sidney Watson. That's also untrue. So those three things are untrue. So far, I've seen number two discussed the most, though there clearly sparks flying between him and Sidney. Uh, no, it has nothing to do, and that was also ridiculous because he said something about Mormons. No, that's retarded. <laughs> that's retarded. So I found this thread, and in this thread, there's some interesting things. Of course, I had the info already, but I'm saying it's kind of it's kind of out in the open because I was like, well, where's their interactions? Let me go look. Last time Blaze fired one of their big employees, we were able to figure out why based on what tweet she liked. I guess Blaze got smart and added a no liking clause to the NDA. Israel last sent $3 should have gotten a sticker of Elijah from when he went and fagged out at that tranny event. Love you, Ralph Amale. Thank you, brother. Sydney only said something really vague, but implying it did involve her somehow. Now, she didn't actually imply that, and it didn't involve her. If you go and look uh, a little closer, though, Sarah Gonzalez, which I didn't notice at the time because I don't really follow her, but I can't believe nobody. I mean, was this not mentioned anywhere or are we just not going to do any type of investigating at all? Like, it wasn't hard to find this. I would have seen it if I didn't like even known. I, the blaze is not my beat, basically. I wasn't really following it. Well, Sarah Gonzalez not only retweeted, but liked the blaze tweet. 
about Elijah being fired. Also, you can see on August the 26th, let me try to resize this. You can see on August the 26th, she has a show on The Blaze. Also, she was a frequent guest on Slightly Offensive. Elijah was a frequent guest on her show. They appeared to be close and hung outside of work. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. But uh, here's an August 26th tweet from Elijah Schaefer. Premiere of the new movie. I think he meant of. Uh, Premiere of the new movie. I helped co-produce UncleTom.com. <laughs> Promo Elijah with Sarah Gonzalez, Texas. Promo code Elijah. <laughs> So anyway, it's Sarah Gonzalez. He got fired for allegedly uh, groping Sarah Gonzalez, actually. Uh, I'm going to go through and make sure I describe it uh, correctly. Um, yes, uh, allegedly grabbed her breast. Uh, allegedly drunk. Uh, also, when said tit grabbing occurred. Um, and then also, uh, basically that this was kind of... Go ahead. Sme golf fan sent three dollars. Elijah has sex with women. That's gay, <laughs> unless it was in the butt. Then it's straight. But allegedly he was drunk and grabbed her titty, and this was not um, the. F I don't know about. Well, I'll just read it. Um, kind of the straw that broke the camel's back with regards to alleged mistreatment of women at the blaze uh, is what uh, is what. Uh, my source with detailed knowledge of the situation told me uh, that this was kind of, of course, grabbing a coworker by the titty can get you fired at any time. Um, <laughs> so that could happen at any time if you grab if you grab a coworker by the titty that you are subject to getting fired, terminated. Um, so that's that's definitely something you should be. You still have to make sure they're okay with you grabbing their titty uh, before you grab said titty. Um, now, do we? I don't know the ins and outs of what happened there. Um, you know, maybe tripped and fell, tried to hold himself up, or <laughs> or what have you. Or he says he didn't do that. You know, I, I don't know if he's going to comment on it or not. Um, and it is less salacious. Like I said, that's what I said when it came out because I was like, well, what is this? Is it? You know, he raped, raped a, a, a bitch or, you know, he grabbed her by the ass, grabbed her by the titty. Well, it turned out to be, I think I said grab by the ass, but it was a titty grab. Allegedly. Now, we don't know. You know, I'm, he, I'm pretty sure he'll say, no, that didn't happen or that was invited. I don't know what he'll say. Um, I was also told he was completely unremorseful uh, about the situation as well. So, again, um this is just what I'm reporting here, that uh, he was fired for allegedly groping Sarah Gonzalez, uh, no remorse for the situation, uh, and he had had problems uh, stemming from alleged mistreatment of female colleagues at the Blaze before. So that's what that's what I'm here to tell you uh, and I don't know and I'll say the same thing I said obviously I don't care for Elijah uh, I see Chad saying this might be a redemption arc for <laughs> this might be a redemption arc for Elijah now um, but uh, obviously you know I don't care for him that much um, but it's not you know I never I don't have like a deep-seated hatred or beef with the guy he kind of got caught up with my universe because he worked with Rakeda Davidson trying to fuck me over Elijah with the old react around tail as old as time <laughs> Banks respecter sent three dollars the only plausible explanation is that Elijah Schaffer in a drunken stupor <laughs> mistook her large breasts for a man's firm and muscular buttocks perhaps I don't know but um, you know I don't really have the driving hatred for the guy. It's more like, well, he was an idiot. He worked with Rikeda on some fucking faggot shit to try to set me up. And I got back at him. We sent $10. We are all Elijah. <laughs> Jacuzzi sent $3. Did Elijah do this to curb the gay rumors? I don't know. High IQ chess move. It's been suggested. But, you know, 
Um, I got back at him, and then it was kind of over for me. But he kept, like, tagging me on Twitter with crazy shit and, like, sending blind item tweets. He's really bad about just going on Twitter and tweeting out some weirdo shit. Like, yesterday he had a had a thing about how he almost could have lived a normal life, and now he's sentenced to tweet out, like, lowbrow memes and shit for a living. And it was supposed to be funny, I guess, but it was clearly... Like, him being depressed as well. It's like, dude, get the fuck out of here. You ain't cut out for this shit. Get the... I don't know. It just annoyed me. That that kind of thing does annoy me. Where it's like, yeah, you know what? We're in a, pretty, in a pretty blessed position. Yeah, it does get... I mean, so, certain things can get old sometimes, for sure. But, man, a lot of motherfuckers would kill to be in that spot. So, I just don't like it when I see... When you see too much of that, you see that all the time from him. Like, I mean, I understand being down or whatever for a day or what have you, but... Because that happens to everybody, but... It's too, it's too much of it from him. Desert Fox sent $3 Elijah Schaefer. Same guy who tweeted out revolution in progress on Jan 6th as well as photos of Pelosi's laptop. Yet he's facing no charges. Very interesting. Yeah, um... I mean, personally, pressing charges over a titty grab, I would think would be kind of a waste of... Kind of, kind of a waste of resources there. Um, but, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know the situation. Um... I would think a dismissal would probably be better if that did happen uh, and you wanted some kind of justice there or some shit. Um, it does seem a little... I mean, technically, that's against the law. Yeah, I know the January 6th. Oh, you mean not facing charges about January 6th? Yeah, I know. I thought he meant not facing charges about um, about this. Yeah, I wouldn't think this would be, like, charge-worthy. But, yeah, we talked about that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's facing no charges. Yeah, you're right. I thought he was trying to work into this. No, he was just talking about how he's facing no charges for January 6th. Yeah, I remember pulling that up on air and being like, whoa. Yeah, I got you. She got <laughs> Where's his hand in this photo? I don't know. That's man, that's what she Um But yeah, that's what that's what I was told. Um that he was fired. And um we know that, but for groping Sarah Gonzalez and uh a source with detailed uh and Quite, quite direct knowledge of the situation. So, there we go. Breaking. I can't believe this hasn't been published anywhere else. But yeah, he's doing the two, the two finger. Is that what he's doing? Oh, let's watch some more of this, though. Oh fuck! I just skipped it. No. Top of now, it's, right, right. it's all how you use this. It's all how you use this. they look good though. You know, I do like, I do like it though. And you have that. Let me see them. Oh, let's, let's rate them in the chat. I don't even know. Right? I would say they know what they look like, like magnets. Because you wear, it's like what what a person goes on. It's like I'm gonna buy some tropical magnets. You know, like that's that's what I want to wear on my head. It's literally a magnet, and then it's like <laughs> it does look like they look like, they look like the Virginia Stonehenge <laughs> like monument. I felt like they were like maybe like horseshoes, and like, arguably. We kind of did Elijah a favor by revealing this because, like I said, um, I had thought it was worse allegation than that, honestly. <laughs> Not that that's good either, if that happened, or, you know, good for your resume or whatever, but uh, the way it came out at first, it was like, oh, shit, what, uh, what's the deal? Uh, but they you. have yellow Helpful. in them, and I can rarely wear them because they're so wild. So I was like, they have yellow, I'm wearing yellow, let's go. Well, we also, of course, joined it's the so studio bad, by uh, 1999... Uh, what is it, Matt Damon? Yes, sir. Leo, here. Leonardo oh, DiCaprio, Matt Damon. It's all over the place. Very excited to be here. People, are, always. yeah. People well, are always like, "Why do you have a twelve-year-old?" Say he's actually ten, so he's, he's complimenting. <laughs> the thing top. about the um, the gay stuff, which I was told by folklore Americana, um, and still I believe that, and I'm, there's no reason to disbelieve that. Um, he was also, if you'll remember, that bit of information. He was quite drunk when folklore was witnessing him like groping these men and making out with them and stuff. So it kind of, if he did do this, now he might not have, you know, like I said, I'm not just going to take some, somebody's word for it. Um, but it is kind of consistent in that, in that area. 
He's very complimented. So we actually have some good stuff today. I don't know if you know about this. Okay, so um, I think it was Alex Jones people made a um, no question, Lord right? of the memes where they actually took Return of the King and they um, memed it. Like they, they put everybody's face over it. I'm really happy. What is a meme review anyway? I mean, I know what it is, obviously, but meme review. Let's go on a meme review. Yeah, give me the tweet. Is that what you're trying to get me to pull up? Yeah, no, PewDiePie. Yeah, I got it. But it's like, that's PewDiePie. It's one thing for PewDiePie to do it. It's just a direct ripoff of what he's doing. Plus, it's like, okay, well, PewDiePie, it's because it's PewDiePie reacting to it. Raymond Reddington sent $3. <laughs> he was just trying to have some salsa sin. Probably the least of his sins. That's true. Yeah, stealing bits. It's like, okay, well, I mean, the only reason I would watch that, I don't even think about that being meme review. I just think about it as PewDiePie reacting to shit. Like, I just don't even. Yeah, there it is. Elijah Shea for breaking. I'm inside Nancy Pelosi's office. I remember this. I'm inside Nancy Pelosi's office with the thousands of revolutionaries who have stormed the building. He calls them revolutionaries, too. I couldn't believe, I was like, when I saw this on January 6th, I was like, he's getting banned. I couldn't believe he tweeted this. If I would have tweeted this, they would try to put me in jail. Make, they would put me in jail if I had tweeted this. Breaking, I'm inside Nancy Pelosi's office with the thousands of revolutionaries who have stormed the building. He calls them revolutionaries. He's in her office, takes a picture of her, picture of her open computer. To put in perspective how quickly staff evacuated, emails are still on the screen. He's taking pictures of their... Internal emails. Raymond Reddington sent $3. He said he was allowed in there with his press pass. Yeah, I know that's what he said. But uh, that never made any sense to me, honestly. <laughs> I'm just going to be real. And I'm not even trying to get him in charge. I'm just saying it's like, wow, that was crazy. <laughs> I know Bake's been talking about it. That is crazy. And I'm not trying to get him charged. Don't get me wrong. But it is, you know, a little wild. I remember it that day. I agree. Anonymous sent $3. Never try to get with a career woman like Sarah Gonzalez or Sydney Watson. Not just insufferable bitches trying to be men, but they also virtue signal endlessly. So if there's any opportunity to fuck you over while appearing a victim, they will take it. Yeah, and again, as much as I don't care for Elijah, I don't know the veracity of what if he really did grab a brother Teddy, if it was something she invited or he thought it was cool. I don't know. I couldn't say, or if it's just something where it's like, well, it's another thing here with Elijah. We're just going to get rid of him and not even care. So I couldn't say one way or the other. I'm just telling you, that's why he got fired. And, um, as for the accuracy of what he was alleged to have done or, you know, how bad was it? Uh, you know, I was, it was alleged to have grabbed a titty. Uh, inappropriately while he was drunk. So that's the that's the allegation. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's not as bad. You know, honestly, it's not as bad as it sounded when we first saw that report uh, where it said sexual, said sexual assault on the first one. It's like, okay, what do you do? Grabbed her by the pussy or <laughs> went into the pussy, right? Like, it's like, okay, what happened? Um, so it's an alleged titty grab. It's like, well, I mean, in, cert in a certain way, um, that's sort of, not that, uh, you know what I mean? I could see people arguing that it's not that big a deal. Now, I could also see people arguing that it is a big deal because he grabbed a coworker by the titty, uh, and that's not something you're supposed to do. It just depends on your view of life. Uh, and if you <laughs> just depends on how, um, how your psyche is, what your philosophy is. Uh, my own personal opinion is I don't, you know, I wouldn't see that as necessarily a career ender um, at all. Um something you might have to go and uh, do a little more penance for, go back to the minor leagues a little bit, come back later or something. But uh, it's it's not good either, right, to do that. <laughs> Pearson said, to be fair, gay men are way more touchy-feely with women. That's true. We should, we, should, uh, we should remember that. Also, that reminded me I didn't start the Telegram stream. Let me do that. Um, I wouldn't see it as really necessarily a full-on career ender. Elon sent $3. Twitter opinion. stock trading has been locked. Oh. Elon sent a letter to Twitter today and to the court saying the deal yes. will go through as planned. 
Have you covered this yet? Yes, I have, and we're going to go to that um, full steam. We already did a little segment on it, but we're going to do like an hour probably or more on that because that's the real big story of the day. But I just so happened to find this out last night because of the quartering. So shout out to the quartering. He got us some breaking news here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I mean, it's in the eye of the beholder on this one. I don't think um, it's necessarily the worst thing for this to come out uh, for Elisha because what has been speculated um, has been worse. Uh, now I don't know if he'll comment on this. Some people were trying to blame it on Sidney Watson. That's not true. Uh, some people were trying to blame it on the Mormon thing with Glenn Beck. That's untrue. It's the it's the alleged titty grab. Um, and it happened uh, end of August, beginning of September. I think around the beginning of September. I don't have the exact day. Here he is with Sarah Gonzalez on August 26th. Um, and I don't know, you know, the full, like, details of the titty grab. Like, um, I just know that he was drunk and allegedly grabbed her titty, right? Like, that's not... Bake says good PR move for Elijah. <laughs> Might be, honestly. Raymond Reddington sent three dollars. The gay Satan stuff you covered in the past I think so is too. Way worse than the scandal. Yeah, I would agree. The shit where we were watching where he's talking about being possessed by Satan and literally going into some I mean, he was kind of admitting what I was saying too. Then we watched that clip. What was that clip we watched? Oh man. Honestly, the you're right about that. Yeah, that's true. Um well I knew when I found this out that first off a lot of people were gonna say, Well, that's not true. This chick was asking for her. She was coming on to him or whatever. Look at her. Who cares? Um, or they're going to say, well, it's a titty grab. I don't care in the first place. So I knew that when I when I found out. Now, also, there are some people, you know, in professional <laughs> conservative media circles, that's going to hurt him, right? I mean, getting drunk. And allegedly, you know, if it happened. But he got fired for that reason, right? And that's going around, uh, whether he did it or not. I can see that hurting him in certain places, right? It's not all sunshine um allegedly right yeah exactly i'm not saying it's true um but i could see that hurting him if he was trying to get a job somewhere but i you know i don't think it would hurt him for that long really um our tech says honestly the fact that he openly grabbed her tit and wasn't sorry is more evidence that he's gay <laughs> yeah that was another thing like i said another part of the sourcing was um that he didn't show any any remorse uh any real remorse over it so thank you for watching this clip this is the cac of the fair remember to like and subscribe